guys, welcome to Wagwan Apps and today we're going to be setting up this Google Wi-Fi hub uh, we've got two of them, so we've got a two pack like I showed you in my unboxing video we're going to connect this bad boy up and see what happens so I've got the power in, so we'll power this the mains is off obviously, USB-C goes the only way around you want okay, network cable it um, we've got the cable that came with so this point is actually connected to the modem, which is by the door downstairs. Connect that up like that. Okay. And based on this diagram, which comes with the... You can see that it says internet, the hub connects to the green one, which is for the net. And then the mains connect to that one. Once you've done that... Let's power these up. Okay, 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 so the thing starts to glow, the point starts to glow, Google Wi-Fi. We have to grab the app, which I've just pre-installed, you can see that. Let's hit open. Okay, so let's get started. So what we're going to do is, is get a bit closer so you guys can see what I'm doing. I have not done this so this first time. This is, this is just a testament to see how easy it is. Looking for your device. See how long it takes. It shouldn't take too long. Things powered on. Looking, looking. Jamal. Okay. Skip the WhatsApp. Come on, there you go, found Google Wi-Fi points, it's found. Okay, scan the QR code, which should be straightforward. So if we just say, okay, code is done. Connecting to the point. What's the new kind of spinner? Where is your Wi-Fi? Let's say Attic. Next. Let's give it a name. Password. Um, let's say... Create. Here we go. Setting it up. Simples. Creating your Wi-Fi network, saving your Wi-Fi settings. Now the Wi-Fi settings I've set up are exactly the same as my old router, which was a uh, uh, Asus. I'll show you a picture. It's ba absolutely battered. Come on. So this is the state of my. <laughs> my Asus, the areas are gone. It's had a lot of, uh, it's been moved around quite a lot because of work, construction and stuff. So it's absolutely battered. So in the bin it goes. Well, for recycling, I should say, mind finalizing your home network, making sure everything is in order. Let's hope it is. Okay, none. Let's just say none for now. Let's just say next. Obviously, I've got one more. Okay, next, installing the latest, oh, so it's doing an update on the box, it won't take that long, not on the speeds that it's running here, come on, oh, five minutes, okay, so, We'll come back to you guys when it's ready. So while it's uh, doing a software update on the um, on the hut on the uh, the Google Wi-Fi point, it still says four minutes. So it says, "Wait, please be patient." What we can do is we can set up the switch required because I need a couple of hardwired things, and the Google Wi-Fi only has one Ethernet port. So I'll show you that there's one Ethernet port. There you go. So I need a couple. So what I did was. I've got this off Amazon. It's a five-port giga 
buy it. Gigaport, here you go, look at this. 11 quid off Amazon. Simple switch. Nothing complicated. Five ports on the back, even though I only need two. I might need one later for the PlayStation. Um, but a couple of quid it cost me just to get that done. Uh, at least that way I can use Google Wi-Fi. I know, I know my Asus had about six ports on it. But this is simple enough, right? So, nice little thing. Nothing huge, as you can see. Uh, got the mains. So we're going to plug that in while we wait for this update. Let's check where it is. Three minutes left. Oh, man. Taking its time. So, okay. Should be straightforward, right? So what we've got. Um, so... We can run the yellow one. We can run. So what we do is we'll plug one in here, like that. So the yellow one, I'll sort the wires and the tidiness of it up later, so don't worry about that on YouTube, guys. I'm just running for a basic setup. So uh, while that's still going, oh, it says it's ready, so I'll plug that in there. Okay. So it says it's ready. Let's see. Now explore all the nifty things. We can do so basically it's up and running set up the point everything is looking good on your online network as you can see dismiss what i will do at some point is run you through the app i just wanted you to run you through the setup so you can see look one device is connected to slick wire online um it's probably the thing network check so i'll run you through the app settings and stuff in another video uh, but I just want to get everything powered up beforehand and all the devices connected. But it looks pretty slick so far. That's all I'm saying. There you go. Okay. Let's quickly get everything else connected to the switch. So we'll get the power line connected. We'll power that up in a minute. Okay. And we'll get the Philips Hue connected as well. So what have we got now? that okay so Philips Hue hub Netgear um, Wi-Fi power line adapter and that should be it really they should all power up as long as the hue lights up it's connecting to the net I can see the net light flashing on the hue on the hue bridge so hopefully Google Wi-Fi should just accept it I hope then I should get three solid lights instead of one flashing one Oh, is the net gear powered up? Yeah, the net gear's powered up. There you go. Up and running, as you can see. Um, the Hue bridge is running. Let's power this bad boy up. And I think that's okay as well. So let's see if there's a difference. So now it says there's two devices connected. Can I see what they are? This is real time. Philips Hue and Android device, whatever that is. Probably a phone. It's probably my phone. So the Hue's connected, as you can see. Pretty slick, right? Um, and what else can we see? I've not used this app before, so I'm a first timer. Um, but there's lots of other things you can do and settings and stuff, which is pretty cool. There you go. That's one hub, one uh, Google Wi Fi point sorted. Um, I don't know what it takes to add a second one, which I'll probably do another time and then I'll run you through the app settings. And stuff like that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, please subscribe and I'll catch up with you guys later.